Hello, welcome back to the channel. My name's Jono. I'm going to do another film review for you this time to uh, add to the series. Uh, and this time, black and white film, 35mm. This is the Agfa 400 APX. So this is Agfa Photo APX uh, 400. Obviously the 400 relates to um, the ISO or the ASA, the speed of the film. There is a 100 version of this, um, but uh, both are 35 millimeter film. I don't think they've ever released this in any other format. I've certainly never seen any. As I say, black and white film, uh, really uh, affordable, which is nice. Um, film at the moment is quite expensive and to get a nice affordable black and white is really good um, but uh, don't mistake that for cheap um, it's just a, a really reliable and flexible film the eagle eyed amongst you will notice is a dx film and for those that don't know yet another link up in the top right explaining so although the box speed is 400 uh, ISO, uh, this film can actually respond well to being pushed up to uh, 1600 uh, ISO. Um, if you're not familiar with what I mean by pushing the film, I have um, another video on that, which I'll leave a link to in the top right hand corner. Um, but suffice to say, this film is very flexible at a number of different speeds and people always report you know, regardless of what speed they uh, uh, shoot at, whether they, they like to experiment or stay box standard, uh, they get uh, good contrast from this film, a good high, uh, clean resolution, um, that the grain is relatively low if, if grain is something that you don't uh, enjoy in your photographs. Um, so, yeah, very flexible film, very reliable, and uh, just really good for both beginners and the more experienced alike. So I shot a couple of rolls uh, earlier this week with a couple of different cameras. So I'm going to develop them um, in much the same way as I did uh, in a previous video. And I, again, I'll leave a link for you so that you can see that if you're not familiar with developing at home. But uh, yeah, looking like we got some uh, nice images here. Let's get them scanned and I'll, I'll show you a few. I hope you enjoy them. So there you go, hopefully that was of use to you and of interest. Once again, a huge thank you to all my followers, people that watch videos, people that like, people that comment. It really is still staggering to me that so many of you find these videos of use and of interest, but I'm really, really grateful for all of you. Um, other than that, not much else to say. I'm really uh, looking forward to uh, another vintage camera review soon uh, and a new one that you haven't seen before. So until then, Take care of yourselves and I'll see you soon.